Um, some big names there, Benny. Big names got to step up this season. Where do you want to start? Who's what? What player do you think? I know, I know exactly where you're going to go. What player do you think needs to prove all the critics wrong? Who do you think I'm going to say? <laughs> I think you're going to say Harry Maguire. No, I'm not going to say Harry Maguire. Oh, okay. sure. But he would be one. But I think Marcus Rashford. He's probably the biggest one because. I think we've seen the abilities there. I mean, you're talking about a guy a couple of seasons ago, certainly when Oli first came in. And it, maybe even before that, the attributes were there, the pace, the finishing, he scored goals, he was brilliant. But he just seems to have lost his way. And I know he's had a lot to deal with over the last couple of years with the, the whole government issues with the kids and the, the foods and the meals. But I think he's somebody who's got the attributes and you want to see him. He looks quite sharp in pre-season. I think he's due, with the World Cup as well coming up, I think he needs to hit the ground running. Mm. So I think he's definitely someone we need to see back. My understanding is that he likes playing on, on the left of a three mm. and it's not often that he gets that opportunity. I know Sancho played there a lot last season, but from what I've seen, he's going to play there and Jaden's going to be on the right as well. Well, well if, if, he plays, if he plays on the left, Marcus Rashford, and he plays well, he'll keep his position. Mm -hmm. But the unfortunate thing for him and Jaden Sancho is that they were so inconsistent that the manager had to keep trying to find solutions, find solutions, yeah, because no one would really... I mean, Jane and Sancho towards the end of the season, I thought was better. But if these guys want to hang on to it and get back to the, the billet we know they've got, mm -hmm. they need to start from day one, and obviously, you know, Manchester United kick off tomorrow. What about someone like Deli Ali? We heard his name mentioned there. How big a season is he this for Deli Ali? He is really on his last chance to loom, because, again, he, he's someone who we know. Th the, he's got all the attributes. He burst on the scene. But you look, you think about a guy that in his last few seasons he's, he didn't score at all for Everton. Got one the season before that, 50, none before the year, the year before that, and eight. He, he's he is so much better than that. But it's, it, only he can do it. He's had the move now. He's out of London. It's all fresh for him. He's under a manager who he should be able to resonate with because Lampard was a goal scoring midfielder, mm -hmm. the best we've ever had. He was on track to be in that type of mould. He's lost his way a little bit. So for me, Deli Ali, this season here is massive. We know that Calvert Lewin's going to be out for. Up to six weeks. I know that Frank Lampard has come out. I think yesterday and said that he may he may be playing Deli Ali down the middle. Mm. Does that add more pressure or less pressure? Because he's not really expected to get goals, right? Well, he's under pressure anyway because people and even the Evertonians are probably you have that little period in that Grayson in period where they go, okay, let's see him get back to where he can get to. Now he's got to deliver and in plan that kind of central figure. I know he played really well off Harry Kane. Harry Kane would drop in, he would go in behind. He's just got to deliver. He's just got to play well, work hard, and hopefully it turns for him. But I definitely think this is his last chance to be at this level before people start to lose patience. Okay, with just yes or no is one other player. But just impossible for Deli Ali to make it to the World Cup? Yes. Okay. Uh, one of his teammates, Dwight McNeil. Poor, he needs one in. 38 games played, one assist, no goals. Mm. He's better than that. But we've seen with some of the goals, he is a lot better than that. So he's another one Everton fans will be looking at. We need a bit more from you. Mm.